Let's look at one of the most commonly tracked Greeks, Delta. Delta is the change in the options price or premium due to the change in the underlying futures price. It is some portion of the movement of the underlying. Delta is a percentage measure. Assume we have a call option priced at 1. It has a 0 0.50 delta, which means whatever the change of the underlying future is, the option will move by 50% of that change. If our underlying futures product moved from 96 to 97.5, this is a 1.5 point move. So our option premium will now change by 50% of 1.5, or 0.75, making the option's new price 1.75. Calls always have positive delta between 0 and 1.00, while puts always have negative delta between 0 and negative 1.00. The delta of a futures contract is 1.00. Traders usually refer to the delta without the decimal point, so a 0 .40 delta is commonly referred to as 40 delta. Calls then have delta between 0 and 100, and puts have delta between 0 and negative 100. Long futures have 100 delta. Short futures have negative 100 delta. Being long a future results in positive delta. Being short a future results in negative delta. Being long a call will result in positive delta. Being short a call results in negative delta. Conversely, being long a put results in negative delta. Being short a put results in positive delta. If you are long deltas, you want upward market movement. If you are short deltas, you want downward movement. The absolute value of the delta also shows the approximate probability that the option will finish in the money. For example, if the option has a delta of 50, it suggests that it has a 50-50 chance of finishing in the money. A delta of 20, it suggests it has a 20% chance of finishing in the money. If an option delta is less than 50, it is said to be out of the money. If the delta is greater than 50, the option is said to be in the money. If the delta is equal or close to 50, the option is said to be at the money. The delta is used in calculating hedge ratios to establish a neutral or delta hedged position using the underlying futures. Let's say we sold 8 call options that have a 25 delta. This would give us a delta position of negative 200. But to be delta neutral, we would need to buy 2 underlying futures contracts. Delta is dynamic and changes with the movement in the underlying. That means delta neutral ratios and other hedge ratios using options are also dynamic and subject to change. If you're going to trade options, delta is a measurement you will want to study.